Hello again and welcome to another Mordian Glory Bolt Action Battle Report. Today we once again find ourselves playing on an absolutely fantastic board put together by none other than Commando James, who's fast becoming a little bit of a uh, presence on the Mordian Glory channel, which is absolutely fantastic. Now James is what I call the Terrain Wizard, and he has put together this board from scratch. It's all custom built, all of the terrain, all of the roads, all of the rivers, all of it has been entirely put together by him and it is absolutely a treat to play on a board like this. Not to make him blush but he's even done little waves on the river and on the beach so it's just absolutely fantastic and it's just really really cool to get to play on a proper board. I mentioned this last time but you know we get so used to playing on battle mats that when you actually get to play on a proper tactile board it really does add that extra level of now, immersion. I'll stop gushing over the terrain now we'll get into the mission so today guys we're continuing on from our last battle where it's 1944 we're in Italy the Italians have actually been knocked out of the war but the Germans are still holding on to the northern part of the country and the commandos are trying to find a way of breaking through the line. Now last time the commandos unfortunately did not get a decisive victory so they're trying again they're going to try a different point of the line and see if they can find any weaknesses so the mission today is point defense is scenario nine in the big rule book and it is an attacker defender one and essentially what happens is the defender has his setup zone which is going to be this one over here and there are three objectives we've got one there in this main compound we've got a second one holding the bridge We've got a third one holding the vital food supply, which is the cows. I just thought it'd be cool to have one there. Now, just you meant to roll off to see who's the attacker and who's the defender, but we've decided that it just feels right that the commandos are on the attack and the Germans are on the defense. So that's what's going to be happening there. So that is the board. That is the mission. Now let's take a look at the two armies that are fighting today. So today we're going to start off with the Royal Marine Commandos. Normally we start off with the Germans. We thought we'd let the good guys go first for a change. So James, well, take us through this list. I think we're starting in the centre and then working our way around the sides, aren't we? Yeah, so first off with his pair of binoculars uh, is 2nd Lieutenant Lane. Nice. Uh, he picked up a nice M1 carbine there. Borrowed it from the Americans. Oh, very cool. Uh, and then we've got a six-man squad. Uh, the NCO has a submachine gun, but everyone else has got rifles. And the reason I've done that is commandos benefit from the plethora of special rules, um, including tough fighters, out in the carry training, behind enemy lines, and masses of concealment, and finally up and at them. So you just don't need to put SMGs in everyone. We've learned this now, haven't yeah. we? You've got to fire, so yeah. Commandos don't really need those SMGs, and it's better off having that standoff distance of that 24 inch range from your rifles. You do realise that there's going to be some like venerable commandos watches going, but I need me stents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in, in real life we we all have a sten gun. But, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, in the second squad is you've got an NCO with a rifle, two guys uh, acting as loaders, and two Bren guns. Okay. No Vickers case today. No Vickers case today. <sighs> Controversial. Uh, third squad again is five commandos all with rifles. Okay. Uh, and they've got some a squad of seven Royal Engineers. Uh, and they have demolition charges um, and Bangalore. He has a Bangalore torpedo. Yeah, you actually because, paid for it? No, I didn't. But he does have them. Okay, okay. Representing apparently. the demolition charges. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Because um, I don't think the obstacles will come up too much. And then finally, we've got another squad of five five guys with rifles. Nice. Okay. Good solid core. So where are we going to go next? Going for the anti tank or going to go uh, around the? Going to this side. Okay. You've got the naval observer, and he does his eighty points worth of. Upgraded stuff from your free observer. He's going to try and fit that tank, <laughs> isn't he? I know he is. Yeah. Uh, Light mortar team, Piat team, and then I've gone for something quite cool. Okay. Quite unique to the Italy book. It's the beach recce team. It's the cock okay. team. Cool. Uh, and they essentially deny the opposition forces any ability to do hidden. Uh, okay. Hidden, hidden rules. That's cool. So essentially, they're the forward team. They're an advanced team, and they have two suppressed stent guns. Oh, that's very cool. That's very cool. So your lack of other stents has been made up by the fact that you've got two of the cooler stents in the game. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And then just this last little bit over here, is it? Necessity demands that I bring an anti-tank weapon. Yeah. So I brought a big old uh, six-pounder. 
Yeah. Uh, so, well, it's actually just a medium entertainment. Yeah. It's big to you. It's just, big to me. <laughs> just to uh, just to give our viewers a little bit of context, it for I think the first year of James's career, he historically insisted that a single foot-mounted Piat team was all the anti-tank that a true marine needed. Uh, but he did keep encountering Panzer Fours and Tiger Tanks, <laughs> so he has now begrudgingly admitted he needs a little bit more than a lone Piat, <laughs> and now he's begrudgingly taken what he considers to be a big anti-tanker, but it's just a medium one. <laughs> well, James, it's absolutely fantastic. The models are absolutely beautiful, uh, just like your table, and just like you. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome, man. Absolutely fantastic. Just can't wait to see what it does on the battlefield. And so here we have the Germans. And starting off, I've decided to go for something a little bit different. Normally I take lots of regular grenadiers, but today I've gone for a big old batch of Volks grenadiers. So I've got two squads of 10 Volks grenadiers with STG 44s. I've recently become a big fan of these guys. I think they're really underrated. They run around with lots of automatic firepower. Sometimes they upgrade into regular and sometimes even upgrade into veteran. So I think it's a bit of a risk against James's army because he's going to be taking like all veteran commandos, whereas I'm starting off with a big core of inexperience, and I'm hoping these guys are going to upgrade into better forces. I've then got a little five-man grenadier squad, and they've got an STG on the captain, and then or sergeant I say, and two SMGs on the uh, grenadiers. I've got a little Flammenwerfer team. I've got an officer with an STG, and his mate has got an MP40. I've got a MG42 medium machine gun team, and then I've got another MG42. This is a Grenadier squad, so that counts as an LMG, and that's just a little five-man Grenadier squad with the one upgrade. And then we have got a half-track. Can't take a German army without a half-track. It's got a forward-facing MMG. And then we've got the Beast, Tiger 132. And it has got all of the trimmings. It's got the super heavy anti-tank gun. It has got three medium machine guns. It's got one on the front, one coaxial, and I have paid the points to take the pintle mounted one as well. So this thing is going to be spraying out a lot of DACA. So it's a quite a compact force. It's just uh, nine dice a day versus James is I think 12 or 11? Yeah, 12 dice. 12 dice. So the Germans are going to be out of dice, but we have brought a Tiger. So that's going to be an interesting threat for the uh, commander. But let's see what with. it all looks like out on the battlefield. So me and James are discussing deployment and I have decided to deploy everything on at the beginning, no reserves for me, and James has decided that he's going to have everything in his first wave apart from his forward deployers. So they're going to start on the board already. So no one's messing around with any reserves. We've both sort of said we're just going to have a straight up fight, straight just go for each other. Starting off with the Germans, we've got the Hannah Mag with the flamethrower team and the, and the assault grenadiers in there. We've got our MMG team covering here behind this bit of light cover. We've got a central big strong point here, Tiger Tank, and a big 10-man squad of Volks Grenadiers. And then moving along here, we've got another hard point. We've got a squad of Grenadiers with the LMG, another squad of Volks Grenadiers, and then the officers. My sort of thinking behind this was that I would create two pretty good strong points on objective number one and objective number two with the Tiger and that I figure that this is quite a, a bit of open ground here. If James is going to start try and start coming over here, I'll have two MMGs that can cover it. And if he decides to not go for this objective, because he only needs to hold one objective for a draw and two objectives for a win, he could sack off an objective entirely. Then that means I'll be able to fast redeploy the Grenadiers using that Hannah Mag. So that's the plan that we're going for. Obviously, the MMG would be a little bit stuck, but that's not the end of the world. So that's kind of the thinking behind my deployment. Now, James is four deployers. He's got his cop team here just hanging out. They're going to have a good time. And then he's got his naval bombardment observer over here. And he has got, he's even doing the knife hand action. He's got a line of sight on my tank straight away. So I think we know what James is going to do when if he uh, pulls that dice. He's just going to go for it. Absolutely. So that is the deployment. That is the mission. This is the board. I think it's time to draw that full first dice, James. So James is going to be bagman for this game. I'm going to be recording. He's going to be bagman. So let's draw that first dice. It is the British first it's dice. The commandos go first. So do you know what you're doing or do you want to cut and we'll come back? Uh, come back to me. <laughs> okay, give him a chance to think. Now before we forget, James actually does get a preparatory bombardment. So on a 2+, plus, he's going to start doing some pins to me. 
Okay, so he definitely gets it. So now we need to roll a dice for each unit. So because James is Brit and he has the bombardment special rule for his faction, it means he gets to roll two dice and pick the highest for the preparatory bombardment. Now we're going to start off on this side of the board and work our way over it. So let's start off with the Hannah Mag. So we get two pins. It's five, yeah, two pins. Yep, yeah, so let's get two pin markers and put them next to him. There we go. The MMG team. <laughs> takes a hit, so it is a single pen plus three hit, so you need to roll a dice on a two plus, you will kill one of my guys. You do, so, and I'll take two pins as well. So I've lost a guy from the MMG team and taken two pins. Gonna go for the Tiger, big one here. Ah, oh, he's got the hit, so he gets a, a pen plus three hit on it. So a six will be a glance. No, so it's just going six. to do a pin to it. For the hit, it'll probably be two pins, won't it? Yeah, let's say two pins, we'll double check it in a moment. That could have been big, man, that could have been big. We've got the Volks Grenadiers. Double six again. So on a two plus, you'll kill one. Yes. yes, so now could you get me a German dice, please, James? <laughs> Here's a chat, okay, now will my Volks Grenadiers go from being inexperienced to regular? Come on, boys. No, they don't, so they just take the two pins. Okay. There we go. Okay, uh, we're now going to move on to the Grenadier Squad that's up here. So rather than move the camera around, we're just going to do Grenadier Squad, Volks Grenadiers, and then Officer. There we go. Ah, there we go. So, uh, Grenadiers take a hit. Do you kill one on the two plus? You yep. do. So they need two pins. Uh, we'll just remember that. And then we've got the Volks Grenadier Squad. You just get two pins two on pins. them. And then the Officer. Two pins. So everyone's got two minutes. Some people are taking some casualties. Okay, so there we go. Not too bad. Basically double pins across the board. That's definitely going to help the commandos get that early turn, advance up the board whilst the Germans rally those pins off. But yeah, nice. So now James gets to activate his first unit, which is pretty good. So a team of commandos has run on here and taken up a commanding position. Commanding commandos of the town. Now they had to run. So they haven't been able to open fire on these Germans yet, but I think James is banking on the fact I'm probably going to have to rally off there. So we've got the first squad of Brits on here. So now we're picking the next dice. Who's it going to be? And it is the commandos okay, again. Nice. Okay, so James, you know what you're doing with this? Yeah, going to run another squad on. Okay, he's going to run another squad on. We'll be back once he's got those guys deployed. So another unit of commandos have run on this flank. James going for a big push on the town early on. Okay, let's get to that next dice. Another commando dice. It's another commando dice. Okay, so let's see what he wants to do now. Got uh, another unit of commandos here. They've just come up the road, taking up some positions in the bushes around the town. So the commandos have got three sections of blokes, so that's 15 veteran infantry who are going for a big assault on the main town. Okay, let's see what the next dice is. German. Aha, excellent. This is the Germans. Now I need to decide what I'm going to do. It's probably going to be a rally. <laughs> so I'm going to go for a boring one. I'm going to go for a rally with the Volks Grenadiers. And I passed that, so I will lose my two pins. Okay, so we've got the next dice coming out here. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, German. another grey one. Okay, so it's going to be very boring. I'm going to go for a rally <laughs> on the officer. He does rally, so he's going to lose his two pins too. Okay, so we've got the next dice coming out here. What's it going to be? It is the commandos. I imagine you're bringing more stuff on. I will bring on another squad. Okay, we'll see where James ends up placing those boys. So James has just come up with an interesting theory. Every time he uses his left hand to pull a dice out of the bag, it's for the Germans. And every time he uses his right hand to pull a dice out of the bag, it's the commandos. So which hand are you going to use, James? I'm use my left. If you use the left, he's going to see if, if this he... is... If this comes out, it's true. If this comes out, it's true. Okay. Three, three, three. Three. This is his uh, theory. Oh <laughs> yeah, my God! <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, that is spooky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to go for a, uh, a cheeky rally on the Grenadier squad here. Yep, so they're going to lose both of those pins. Okay, can left hand do it again? James wants to pull out more German dice. Bit of sportsmanship, but I'm going to keep using my left hand. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not getting most sporting now. <laughs> ah, it was a commando <laughs> one that time. Oh dear. Okay, the dream is dead. The meme is dead. That would have been so funny if that kept <laughs> happening, man. At least you were, what, four for four out of five? 
Not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. All right, what are you bringing on next? Do you know? Uh, my light mortar team is going to come up. Okay. Come on back here. Do this live. Do it live. You can watch the tape measures being pulled up live, folks. Mm -hmm. So this is the light mortar team here. James is continuing to go for just, you know, he doesn't realise that there is more than one part of the board he can deploy in. He has, he has decided he's going and deploying his entire thousand point army into a town. If something's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Yeah, if it's a half ass one thing, then, well, the whole ass one thing, then half ass two things, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so nice. God, every time I see this, I want to get a nice ice cold Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Coca Cola is getting some little advertising. All right, let's see what the next ice is. We're going for a bit of a longer cut here. So the German oh, dice. It's the German dice. Okay, so the Germans. Um, we're going to come over here now, um, and I think we're probably going to go for a cheeky rally on this guy. Okay, so let's get the dice and see if we get it. We do get it off. So there we go. And no, just in case anyone was wondering, you rally on your full leadership regardless of pins, which is why even though. I had two pins on me, I was able to pass that order off. So that's that, uh, let's see what we've got next. So here we go. Rip and stats. the commandos, okay, do you know what you're doing? Uh, I'm just gonna bring my officer on, dead boring. Just the officer being just dead just boring. James decided he wants to play competitively off. today. <laughs> on the <laughs> battle report it. day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really teasing him now, we're both very much not competitive when it comes to bot action. Okay, running on there, supporting the bloke. Come on lads, come on lads, wasn't this guy he was a captain, but actually he was a lieutenant. That's what we yeah. made of in the last one. Yeah, yeah, captain, lieutenant. That's what it is. He just, he, no one's told him he's not allowed a boat yet. <laughs> All right, okay, next dice. So okay, it's another one. commando one. All right. Okay, do you want to cut to have a little think? Yeah, so okay. think about this. We'll give him a little time to have a little think. James has brought on his very, very big medium anti-tank gun, and he's put it in a really clever position, because if you look here, guys, he can actually cover pretty much anywhere that that tiger is going to go. Right now it can't see the tiger, but it will be able to, if the tiger moves forward to try and avoid a bombardment or it moves backwards, it will be able to get an eye on it. So very, very smart positioning of the medium amount of tank here by the commandos. Well trained, these black blokes, well trained. Okay, so let me bring the camera around to here. I'll just take a look at the next dice. Another commando dice. Another commando dice, okay. Do you know what you do? It's all commandos. Did I put some dice in there? I'm sure you have at least at least two. I should have at least five more in there. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm just going to tuck my Jeep right at the back. Okay, it's tucking the Jeep in there. Tucking the Jeep in there. Okay. Let's put him on the road. Just Get a bit of extra movement from the road if you want to. Then if I... No, just there leave him at the back. Don't want him running off just yet. <laughs> just take a little look at that boy. Really cool. I, I love Jeeps and Boy Action Man. I think they're really underrated. Just great. I always put one with the Bazooka team in as my Americans. All right, so let's keep it going. Next dice. What's coming up next? So the British dice. So the British dice, okay. Uh, I think I'll put my sorry, I put my Piet's team in the Jeep. Okay, that's fine, yeah, yeah. Right that would um just say you've gone down with them. There yeah. you go. Okay. So just a little 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 bit of magic cinema there. The uh, the Piet team is now inside the Jeep. <laughs> it's not a problem. To be fair, it barely it barely moved on. So they're just they're not actually behind it, guys. They are they are inside it. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Germans. It is the Germans. Okay, so I I need. I think I'm going to go down with a unit in here. I'm trying to go with that tiger last, guys. So uh, I know I'm going to I'm going to draw a dice now. There we go. Or it's the Germans again. Okay, I'm going to go down with this one. Okay, let's go again. Okay, it's the commandos. There we go. Do you know what you're doing? Or not? Yeah, it's the last squad. Last squad. Um, the Royal they Engineers. Is gonna James going to change anything about his current plan? Or is he going to continue massively overstacking one side of the board? There's, there's literally 10 child soldiers. The Volks <laughs> Grenadiers, like old men and young boys, all the uh, Hitler youth that got indu inducted into the Volks Grenadiers. <laughs> Holding off against uh, 30, 40 commandos. Nice. Uh, yeah, I am going to go. Okay, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> just put them at the back. Just okay, okay. Back. He's bringing them in at the back there, guys. All right, so the uh, rest of the dice... Oh, no, you should still have one more in there, shouldn't you? You've got to activate nice. your field artillery observer, naval observer. Okay, let's take a look. No, it is the Germans, so I will go for a rally on that thing. 
on the Hannah Mag to uh, be a bit more descriptive. Yep, so that's going to lose both of its pins. Very good. And then, what's the next one? Ah, that is exactly how I wanted it to go down. Could not have planned that better. Going to keep these guys. Oh no, it's not. He's a Depola on Uno reverse card. He's going for the cop team. All right, let's try again. Okay, ooh, that's going to have to be the Volks going I think. Now, I'm going to try. I've got a plan here, guys. I've got a plan. I'm going to try for a run. Now, they're only going to be leadership six. If they fail, they go down, at which point I will keep them down because then they will rally D3 pins at the beginning of the turn. And if James does get his bombardment in, they will um, only take half hits if they take a big hit. So it's not bad. It's actually a very relatively shrewd, <laughs> shrewd choice. Ah, they just failed. Should have had an officer nearby. Okay, so they will go down instead of run. There we go, wherever it is. Where's the down? There it is. Okay, so I think it comes down to this. This is the biggie. Do you want, you have the honor, yeah. sir. You have the honor. See if you can feel the green color. Feeling the green. Oh, no. dear. Okay, so this is, this is very bad. Um, I think I need to go. Oh, I need to have a little think. Basically, guys, the reason why this is very bad is because it now means that James will get to use his artillery observer last, which means wherever I put my tiger, he'll put the bombardment to counter it. And it potentially, the bombardment for the naval observer is so powerful it can flip tanks if James is lucky. If he flips a 400 point tank, this is going to be a very difficult game for the Germans, but it will be epic as fuck. So I think let's, uh, no point going for, it's, yeah, might as well, might, I feel like there's only one choice here. It's so unlikely, but I'm going to go for a fire order. Not a, yes, I'm going to go for an advance order mm. and I'm going to try and advance and shoot your naval observer. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if I get it off. I don't get it off. Okay, so the tiger's just going to go down. It'll probably just like... I think if it goes down, it reverses, you know? I'll double check what how the, how the tank calls work. I think it might just reverse backwards, but we'll take a look. So yes, I was right. A tank that does fail an order test due to pins reverses and then goes down and keeps any pins it's got. So the tiger has ended up going back there. Now, interestingly, that might end up working out better for the tiger because... This chap now can't actually see it, although James could easily put the point of the bombardment down here, or on top of the building, or maybe back here. So it's interesting. It's definitely made things a bit more difficult for the Brits, I think. So not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to drive forward and hose him down with 18 machine gun shots. <laughs> okay, so we know the last dice should be the commandos now, Should which be. it is. So James, where do you want to put your bombardment? Uh, I will put it on top of this building. Let's yeah. go put it straight there. So do you have a little token that I can use for that? Yeah. Use nice. Okay. Commando dice. Using a little commando dice. Perfect. There we park go. On top. Little power mark on top. There we go. Not cool. too bad at all. So that concludes the first turn. Do we want to see if that bombardment comes in? We certainly can. Okay. I have to roll a dice and inevitably look on the bombardment table. Four, I believe oh, I, it's in. That's coming in, yeah. I think it's coming in. I think it's just nice, straight up. It's not messing around. So we'll check the rules and then we're back in just a moment. The first thing we need to do is work out how big the explosion is. So it's D6 plus nine inches. So that is 10 inches. So that should just catch them and them and the tank. I don't think it's going to get to the uh, MMG team there. So now we need to roll for each unit. So um, on a one, I think it's like not, not much. And then basically you want a five or a six is what we're looking for here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, on a unit of 1 to 4, it's not directly hit, but takes D3 pin markers. On a 5, it's a near miss, with, uh, places suffers wounds with a 2-inch template, uh, or a 2 plus penetration. Uh, and on a 6 plus, it is a direct hit. That's uh, a big, bir big berth there. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go for the right. Volks Grenadiers first. Okay. That's a 1, so they get D3 pins. D3, do you want to roll the others on now? Yeah. One. One. Okay, so now... This is going in a dice deal. Come on. No, no, keep using it. Keep using it. No. Now the tiger, man. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. D3 pins. D3 pins. Hey, where was that before, man? Where was that before? So let's pin these units up and we're back in just a moment.
So that is it. We've double checked it and apparently you need to get a five. And if you don't kill the vehicle, then it almost gets flipped over. So essentially he has put five pins on the tiger. We think there's a rally or two in that thing's future. And then we also have got the um, pins on this unit. This unit did stay down. So it's going to try and rally D3 of its pins off now. It won't be able to do anything else this turn though. So it just rallies one off, so there we go. I actually wasn't sure if that meant it was gonna, I should have rallied the pins first and then you got your chance, blah, 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 but fortunately it hasn't made a difference, so there we go. Um, let us know down in the comment section if you know which order we should do that in actually. Uh, but yeah, so that is all of the sort of pre-turn stuff. Let's get the dice back in the bag and see what we can do turn two. Okay, so Jade will be Bagman now, and we're getting the Cruel Seas bag on the Cruel Seas. He's going to pull out a dice, and the first one is the Commandos. Okay, so I think we're just going to have a big World War One style infantry charge, aren't we, James? Oh, well, first of all, I'm going to put this cheeky six-pounder on ambush. Oh, nice. Do you know what they call that in uh, in France? The ambush. <laughs> <laughs> the ambush with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the first time. Let's get the next one going down. It's a German. Oh, it is the Germans. Okay. Okay, so realistically, I think we can we almost want to do a few passes here essentially. So we will go for a rally straight up with the Tiger Strip. I don't think there's anything else that's gonna come in and get it. So we'll go for the rally straight away. Here we go. Let's see if we can pull it off. Yes, he does. So he's gonna lose one pin passing an order plus D6. Ooh, just one more. CP reroll! No, so he's just lost two pins. So he's probably gonna have to rally for another turn. So half the turn half the game this tiger's not gonna be doing anything. That is interesting. Okay, so here we are. Next dice. It's another German dice. Another German one. Okay, 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 okay. So I think we're gonna go for a fire order. Gonna get first shots of the game going off here, okay? We're gonna go with my LMG team and riflemen, uh, two riflemen, and they're going to try and shoot into the commando LMG team. So I will have five shots for my LMG, which will definitely be in range. We'll check the range of the rifles. Um, so it's going to be long range and hard cover. So it should be sixes to hit you. Do you want to check if the rifles are in range? Your rifle is not are just out okay. of range. So uh, Germans get five shots to their LMGs because they're special. Uh, so let's see if we get any sixes. I do get a six, so at least I've pinned you. Now I'd like to just continue rolling six with this dice so I can get an exceptional damage and kill your machine straight away. No. Okay, so just a pin. So just a light, little little light bit of fire, just a little brap brap. Smattering. All right, so uh, let's get the next Okay, dice. so next one is... British. The dirty British, these British. these oh. sausage munchers. No, that's me. I'm the sausage muncher. You're the uh, you're the roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna come at you now. You're just gonna come at me. All so right. For, for a run. He's going for just going for the <laughs> run. He's not messing about. Twelve inches. Well, bear in mind, this is not uh, 40k. You can't just phase through walls. You will need to uh, follow the curve of the terrain for the more immersive, and in my opinion, superior gaming experience. <laughs> <laughs> You've not quite gone 12 inches there, but keeps them in cover. Has he got a carbine as well? Why yeah, there's some... Why have you got all these goddamn Yankee weapons, man? <laughs> you know, is the, are the Queen's weapons not good enough for you? <laughs> James literally didn't have a response to that one! Okay, so w let's pull the next side and see what's going up next. Okay, so here we are. It's ah, the Germans! Okay, 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 okay. So, let me just uh, clarify. If I shoot this at this, they're a small team. They're hidden. They're, so can I even shoot them? Yeah, I think you can, but they're minus... Uh, the many minuses, six team. followed by sixes. Yeah, sixes by sixes. Hmm, not super enthusiastic about it. <laughs> I'll go for a... Uh, I'll go for an ambush, which will essentially mean they're not going to be able to do anything because I'll just shoot them the moment that they pop out. It's okay. Next dice. Oh, I love me ambushes. <laughs> What's made someone rage quit a bot action game with ambushes? It's quite. I felt very bad afterwards. Uh, I'm going to move my mortar team forward. Oh, the mortar team. 
Is he going to go for the move? Is he going to go for the advance to try and pop a wheelie? Uh, yeah, let's go for a little cheeky advance, see if we can... Okay, he's going to hop over that wall. I will allow you to hop over a little low wall like that. Engage 40k mode. All yeah. Right. <laughs> I do love light mores. James is actually the one that put me onto light mores. All right, so we'll get those guys. Oh, he's taking out the map table. He's taking out the map tables. Okay, oh, so I we'll get that. Let's just double check that they can see anything. Yeah, that's cool. Which they cannot. They can't? In there. Okay, it's so it just goes nowhere. All right, so we'll cut that there and see what the next dice is going to be. All right, so here we are, next dice. It's another, it's another commando dice. one. All right, so do you know what you're doing with this? Uh, yep, yeah, we'll just run this squad up. Okay. Okay. Just keep it nice. We'll do a few more dice on camera. If we get like another German one that might result in something actually important, we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll probably you know cut and do the rest of the turn off camera if we're just going to be doing a lot of moving around. Yeah. Save the viewer watching us just basically yeah shuffling models shuffling around. models around exactly exactly. Okay, we'll, we'll get some closer. Look at these commandos, guys. They're absolutely beautiful. All of these models are actually James. Everything today, I just got to turn up with my camera <laughs> and just chat, basically. Chat some shit. James actually provided all the models as well, so he's done a really good job. We, I always joke with James that he only started playing about action about a year ago, and he's just got more models than Warlord Games does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pull the next dice. We're going to keep it one long cut. Okay, it's a German James. one. Now, I kind of want to do something interesting here. I can't want to do something interesting here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to we're going to go. This is. I think you're going to do a lot of moving, aren't you? So yeah. what I'm going to do to try and make things a bit more interesting is I'm going to take this unit of orcs going is. I'm going to put them in this building, and then I'm going to shoot you. That's what oh. I'm going to do. All right. So we'll be back in just a moment when I've done all that movement, guys. But we're going for the advance. So the Volksmen did have advanced inside the building, STGs at the front, loss, 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 and they're going to be like, Achtung, and they're just going to start firing off those shots, so we've got 10 shots from the STG 44s, now I'm going to be hitting on 5s because I have moved, but the assault rifles don't care about that, but the rifles do, uh, but then I also am inexperienced and I'm shooting at long range with the STGs, which means that I'll be hitting on 5s with the STGs and 6 with the rifles, so these are the STGs first, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 hits, so we'll take those there, and we'll just do them over here. So we need five to kill, I imagine. Yeah. We've got a kill. We've killed one of them. Nice, killing the pin. And then we've got five rifles as well. So we'll just do these here because it's a nice little rolling spot. No hits of the rifles. Not a sausage. Even if I was, even if I wasn't inexperienced, I'd still, I'd just, yeah, it's no hits. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. But the Volks Grenadiers have managed to kill a commando. Excellent. Now, uh, let's pull the next dice. So we actually decided to do the majority of the rest of the turn off camera because we realized we were just gonna be moving lots of stuff around. So the Hannah Mag came forward with an advance. The squads inside went down because they hadn't, didn't have any of the targets. And it tried to pop some shots off at the anti-tank gun, but unfortunately it was just out of range. So that's a shame. Uh, moving over here, all the stuff had already activated. So moving over to the left-hand stronghold, we had the officer who just moved forward to support his troops at the front. Coming around to the commandos, we just have a big general advance. Look at all these green berets, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Big general advance. Everyone pushing forward for king and country, having a great time. But there's a little bit of shooting we've got to do. So we have to do the uh, shooting from this squad. Now, they do have a pin on them. So you have to take a leadership test at leadership nine because your officer's not in range. So they pass nice. that, so they lose their pin. So it's going to be two LMGs, which will be eight shots. Now you're going to be shooting uh, at long range hard cover because I was yeah. long range hard cover. So it's going to be sixes to hit, followed by fours to wound with eight shots. So we've got a hit. Hit. Does he do? Do you wound? Yes. Oh, you do. Do you really wound me? No. No. Okay. So the by really wound, I was uh, guys. I was thinking, does he do exceptional damage? He does not. So he doesn't get to pick the guy. So I'm just going to pick the last random grenadier in that squad, and that is the end of that turn. So we'll get the dice back in the bag, and we'll see where we end up. Okay. So this is turn three, I believe, and we're going to pull the first dice, and it is a grey one. Okay. Now that is quite big. I really yeah. needed that because I want to essentially go with this one first before James uh, decides to put an anti-tank round through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go for, I think we're going to go for an advance and we're going to try and get it in such a way that he won't be able to shoot me because he'll be shooting within an inch of his own cop team. 
use his own men against him. All right, so we'll do the movement and we'll see where we end up and I'll probably fire a few shots off as well. So we've taken a look at the line of sight situation and the Hanamag now can't see the anti-tank gun so it's going to try and do a little cheeky shoot at the um, cop team there. So let's give it a go. So I need sixes followed by sixes to hit them. I've got a six, James. I don't mean to alarm you. <laughs> Starting to sweat over here. It is another six. <laughs> okay. And then I need a five to kill. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's just a pin. There you go, not too bad. We have, we have, we have, uh, we've peppered them up nicely. So that is the, uh, the, the shots coming in from here. Now let's see what the next dice is going to be. So here we are, next dice, what are we going for here? Ooh, 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 ooh controversy. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do this one. I think I'm going to go for an ambush, because I think those, uh, Commandos are going to try and come for me, so the Volks are going for the ambush. Alright. Next dice. I could go for a snap two. Could, I'm going for a snap two. Yeah. I'm going for a snap two. Take two more dice out for me, please. So, in fact, I'm going to do my officer, who's going to snap to himself into a. He'll go for a fire. He'll put them in an ambush, and he's going to try and put them in ambush as well. But they also have to take an order test for it. So, they are leashed at nine with the officer. They pass, which means they lose their pin. And I now have a little fire base set up and for my fire order. I'm literally... Let me just check if there's any windows around the front of this thing. There isn't, so my fire order is literally just going to be... This guy's going to pop up here and here, and he's going to... Try and put a couple of shots. I think only his STG is going to be in range, so it'll just be two STG shots. It'll be. I'll give you long. I think it'll be long range light cover easily there, ma'am. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, you're not really nine. Nine inches. Right. So. Two hits. No kill. No kill. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the pin. Okay, interesting. All right, guys. So, little extra pin from the officer. That was a big turn from me. Big little activation there. That's now... I mean, the commanders have got the weight of bodies, I think, to get through. But when you're a commando relying on World War One weight of bodies tactics, <laughs> it feels a bit round. It feels round. All right, let's cut that there and see what the next dice is going to be. All right, here we are. What is it? It is a Commando Green. What is James going to do? What is Commando James? Is Commando Green going to do? I am going to snap two as well. Oh, <laughs> shit, son. He's going with the snap two. What's he going to do? Uh, I am... That's why you bust your officer forward last turn. Yeah. I've, I've I pulled my snap two first though. How do you feel about that? Uh, I didn't. I don't enjoy the second pin here. Okay, you don't enjoy the second pin here. Uh, so who are you snapping to? In? It'll be this squad. This squad. Now you've got a first lieutenant or a second lieutenant. It's a first lieutenant. Okay. Oh, it's just only one guy, isn't it? No, if it's a first lieutenant, you can snap to uh, two no, other it people. No, might be a second lieutenant. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna check. We're gonna check. We'll be back in just a second. Just a second. We're back in just a second. And it is a second lieutenant. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, so it is. So do you even want to bother snapping to? Uh, yeah. I'll just I want to get these guys. Okay. Around. Okay. Right. So what are you doing? Uh, we're going to go for a fire order. Just straight up fire. Straight up fire. Oh my god! Contra the, the controversialness is just everywhere. <laughs> All right. So you need to pass an order test. Now you have plus one, which means overall you're going to be on a nine. nine. All right. Fuba. Fuba. It's not a food no. bar. <laughs> <laughs> so you lose a pin. Lose a pin. Okay. You are going to be shooting at me with, I believe, there's four riflemen in there now. Uh, yes. Okay. Now, I am in hard cover. Yep. You are over half range, because I was over half range. Yep. And you have a pin yep. on you. That is six followed by sixes. Not a position the commandos normally find themselves in. However, I do have... It does have some... Four guys. Yeah, I killed one. Yep. I killed one. The, the advance is stalling. The mighty Volks Grenadiers. The people storm. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, man. Let's see what happens. Thoroughly unamused by you. Thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a potential. He's got a chance. He's got, he's got a, a chance. chance. Does, he, does he get another hit? No. He does not. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I'm hot. This, this is it. It can be quite tough to... Uh, Advance in by action, it can be when someone puts everything on ambush all the time. It does make things a bit annoying. Alright, so we'll pull the... Do you know what you're doing, officer? 
Uh, yeah, he's just going to move over two inches. Little little scuttle roo. So okay, he's just going to move over. So we, we'll be back once James has done that. We we'll pull the next dice. Okay, here we are. Next next dice. It is another commando one. Command, command All right. Do you know what you're doing with this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try and get you to trigger your ambush. Okay, he's going to try and get me to trigger my ambush. What's he going to try it with? 80 points worth of Naval Observer. 80 points with the Naval Observer. He's going to come at you. Is he going the full 12? Yeah, I've measured it now, so... You kind of have to. <laughs> you kind of have to. Yeah, He's okay, there. do I want to ambush him? <laughs> I'm going to be real with you here. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Uh, if he wants to charge me, he has got a reputation, somewhat. Yes, for does. killing entire squads of volts than it is, but I think realistically it would be it would be silly. I want to I want to um, I want to ambush them or all those blokes when they run. So uh, yeah, I think I think we're just gonna. There's there's no windows here, but you could come down here, couldn't you? Yeah, no, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold. Hold, hold the line. Hold the line. The line. <laughs> All right, we'll see what the next dice is. So we pull the next dice, and it is a German one. I was just saying to James the camera, it's really cool how he's got his Italy campaign medal for when I ran the bot action tournament on his uh, on his dice bag, and that we're actually playing in Italy again now. His commanders are very experienced in the Italian theatre. <laughs> so for the old Germans, ooh, ooh, it's a bit of a funny one. All the stuff, all the stuff over there is kind of done. So now it's kind of one one over here. Um, I think we need to. I think we just need to rally off this stuff and get ourselves back in the game. Yeah, I think that's fairly fairly legit. So I'm going to go for a rally on the tiger, on the understanding that if James tries something funky with his Piat team, the Volks will be there to get him. So we'll see what happens. So let's go for a rally on the tiger. It's only gone and done it. How many do we lose? All of them. Excellent. So we. And now, pin free, Tiger is now back in the game for a turn four, turn five, turn six, and maybe turn seven. So let's see what happens with the next dice. And the next dice is a commando one. Do you know what you're doing? Yes, I certainly do. Are you going with the Jeep? Uh, I am not going to do that just yet. Okay, okay. What are you going for next? Uh, we're going to advance with the light motor team. Okay, he's going for the light motor team. And we're just going to come up these stairs. I know what he's doing. He's going to come up the stairs. And then he's going to pop a shot off. I'm going to shoot at your LMG team. Okay, so that will be a straight up six. Yeah. Now, this is why I really like light mortars, guys. They really help support an advance. Medium mortars are good for bombarding stuff, but a light mortar can actually come with you. And it's a lot more flexible. If you can't see anything, it will be able to move and still, and still shoot, unlike uh, other mortars, which can't. So here we go. Oh, he's only gone and done it. So you yeah. will hit, uh, you'll hit all three guys there, I think. It's a two inch. Oh, it's a two inch, so maybe two guys. It's the inner of the two, so yeah, it's the inner small one. So it'll be two guys, man. Yeah. So uh, do you um, kill me on, it's plus one pen, so it'll be threes to kill. Yes, you do kill both. So that will mean that um, I'm gonna take the sergeant and the loader and then on a two plus, the sergeant will pick up the um, LMG. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so now the sergeant is the uh, LMG gunner. That's pretty cool. So that is, he, that's initiative training, guys, in case you're wondering. That's one of the German faction traits. So we'll just uh, replace that model with the lone LMG. But the ambush order is still going. Now you do D2 pins to me. So on a 4, 5, 6, you'll do 2 pins to me. Just one dice. Oh, sorry. It's all right, you got 4 on both. So we'll just say you get the 2 pins. Okay. Makes it easy. So we've lost more than half the squad in one go, which means I need to take a morale check. Now I do have the benefit of the officer, which means in total I'll be on leadership eight. See if I'm all right. I am all right. That German initiative, German steel. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's uh, get to the next dice. Okay, here's the next dice. And it is the commanders British. again. That was a really good shot by that light mortar. I, I love light mortar. But anyway, it's not the light mortar time, it's the next <laughs> unit. What are you gonna go for next? Uh. Let's, let's keep pushing everybody up. Okay, he's going for the push. Who are you going with next? This squad here. I will most certainly be triggering my ambush as you walk out across the open ground. They are. I'm just going to be real with you there, James. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay, so as the commandos cross the open ground, 
I will ambush them. Now I will be in half range, and I, that's just the two pins. It's just going to be fives. Because if you hadn't had those two pins, it would have been threes. <sighs> One hit. So I do get a hit on them. So they have got a pin. To be fair, that would have, I would have only got two hits if uh, if you hadn't got that. And it isn't a kill. Ooh, lots of uh, lots of ones being rolled for wounds today by both sides. So James is going to finish that movement and then we'll be back with the next dice. So that's where the commandos ended up. And now we're going to pick the next dice. It's Germans. Ah, the Germans. All right. Hmm. Going to wait with the Volks. I think it's... I think... I'm not super enthusiastic about it. But they have got a pin on them already. I think I'm going to jump out of my... Um, Hanamag with the Assault Grenadier Squad and try and see if I can do some damage to those uh, those hidden blokes. It'll be six followed by sixes, but who knows? Got a lot of shots. So the Assault Grenadiers have jumped out, but these guys are going to trigger their ambush and because they have got suppressed SMGs, they do not actually reveal themselves. I did not know that. So that means that uh, my attempt to try and uh, trick James, he's pulled out the Uno reverse card and he's tricking me. All right, so we've got four suppressed uh, stun gun shots going here. Uh, these could be hitting on fours, killing on fours. So let me bring the camera round. There we go. Oh, wait in anticipation. He's got two hits. Two hits. Uh, there's a pin though. And then. Is that oh, a kill? kill? But does he pick? No. no. So just take a man off for me there, James, please. One oh, of the this, back riflemen will... This guy with the STG. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, take a pin. So now it means... I, I mean, I'm still hitting them on sixes followed by sixes. It yeah. doesn't really affect me in that way. But I've got two uh, SMGs, an STG, and two... Oh, uh, now one rifle. So this is the number of shots I have. No sixes. Great. But we have triggered his ambush, which might be important for... Uh, for later turns. All right, let's see what the next dice is going to be. So here we are, next dice, the Italy medal flashing in the sun. There we go. Commander. Awesome, Commanders. Do you know what you're doing with that? Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, fire at your... Now you will be six to follow sixes now, because it's long-range hardcover and I am the small target. Said it, so let's do it. Your light mortar has, has in many ways helped you, and in other ways you've been hoisted by your own <laughs> petard. <laughs> Alright. Have indeed. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at this. Four, just eight shots. Eight so shots. Six, six followed by sixes. sixes. Whoa. Whoa, Ooh. two possibles. Two possibles. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, it adds up to one though. <laughs> Sadly, not a game mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see what the next dice So a unit of commandos has run round here and they've not gone the full distance because they don't want to expose themselves in the courtyard. They will get a fine for public indecency if they do that. Uh, so instead they've sort of hidden around this cover. Now I have under now but I have decided to trigger my ambush because I realised that what's going to happen is next turn James is likely to pull the first dice because he's got more dice than me and then he'll go forward with uh, you know Johnny Rambo here and he will charge these guys who then won't get to ambush because they will be, uh, they won't be able to overwatch or anything because they will have um, been charged by someone that's within six inches of them. So this is all the shots I get, but it is six from the sixes because I'm inexperienced, long range and heavy cover. That's three sixes. But I need to try that again. I've got one. I've only gone and done it, so there is a pin. Please, can we get a kill? No, it's because James decides that he doesn't like fun and he's only going to collect veteran armies. <laughs> So we have put a pin on them, so just loads of DACA going off there, but sadly no kills. Okay, let's, uh, let's do, see what we do next. So we've got the next dice here, what's it going to be? Commando. Alright, now, just having a little thing, is a lot of this going to be like moving stuff around now? Should we do the, the, the one? We do, the, do we do the big one? Do the big one. Okay, we're going to do the big one. So James is going to do his, his, his Jeep, he's going to try and drive it down the road and see if he can get an angle on the Tiger. Now. Let me move these dice out of the way. Don't want them to uh, slow you down. And let's see if he can do it. And then anything, basically anything after this is going to be pretty... Uh... It's 24 inches. Yes, but you are going to have to uh, go round your bloke. So I'd probably say take a take an inch off just to make it simple. Cool. So where do you end up? Just about there. In about there. Okay. 
That's going to be pretty close, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, so um, you, Jeep has gone there. Now will the Volks going to get, to get their order off if they go next? Or will you get your Peter team off next? Let's see what happens. It's quite a big one. It's quite gonna, a big one. It is me. It is you. So you're going to get that Peter team out. We're going to advance then. <laughs> okay, now where does that get you? So that. Yeah, it'll get you just around the corner. Okay. <laughs> now, is this going to be in range? Let's measure. My mighty 12 it inches. It is in range! Yes! Oh my god, he's only gone and done it, so you've moved and it's long range, so it's going to be fives. And I would claim that all of this shrubbery on me gives me another mouse. No, I'm joking, <laughs> so it's fives. Can he do it? Can he do it? This is pretty big. Oh. No! The classic fear. I mean, you might get another chance to do it. You might get another chance to do it. Okay. So, now let's... Uh, now I have a really, really tricky thing to do with those vaults going to man. But it's not me next. Let's see what the next dice is. It's you. It is me. So, people, do I go for the fire order, the advance order... Or do I go for the rally and try and go for the next turn? Definitely get it off. I suppose I'll go for the fire, because if I get the first dice next turn, I'll go with the tiger. Okay, so the Volkswagen Ideas have got a leadership of six. They've got two pins on them. Oh, they've done it again! They've got a seven both times! Really wish I had an officer with them. <laughs> really wish they upgraded. So they just go down this turn. Okay, it's getting spicy for the tiger. Not gonna lie, LT was having a <laughs> spicy meatball. All right, what's the next dice? It's another German dice. Great again. Okay, that's just gonna be my Flammenwerfer. And quite, f I think that's probably my last dice. Last important one. Um, so yeah, to be honest, what I'm gonna do is just um, probably go down with it. It doesn't, it won't be able to jump out and get in range this turn. So we'll go down with the Flammen. Um, and that should be it. So, have you got anything else you want to do? With have I got any dice left in no, there? No, just, just two commando dice. So, do you know what you're going to do? Uh, yeah, we're just going to move forward with the engineers. Okay. And the gunner will turn and have see what he can see. Well, I, I couldn't think... see you, so I think you shouldn't be able to see me, especially when you turn. Yeah. Let's uh, let's have a look. We'll have a look. All right. So. We'll do that and we'll be back in just a moment. So he can see me, so he's going to go for the shot. Now it's going to be a move, and we're saying heavy cover because there's quite a lot in the way. So it's going to be a six to hit, and it's a one-inch blast, so he'll kill like one guy if he hits. Oh, no. just missed. Now just whilst we're on the topic of that squad, James and I both realised that when he triggered his ambush, it would have been five to hit, and we believe he rolled fours. So we're going to do a little bit of rewinding there, and so we're not going to have that pin on that squad, and the guy's going to come back from the dead. But that's just a little thing we wanted to mention, because uh, we caught it post-event. So no, everyone who's like screamed and put it down in the comment section, don't worry, we did catch it. <laughs> All right, so I believe that's pretty much Jay's going to do his movement, and then we're back in turn four, rapid fire game. All right, so this is going to be turn four, I believe. This is a yeah. big turn. I mean, there's a lot of places where this first dice is needed. So, James, feel that green, feel the green. I'm certainly feeling the pressure. It's feeling the pressure. No! Oh! Tiger, <laughs> tiger, tiger. So... Here's the thing, all right? If I fire, you're not gonna go down because you want that shot, man. You want that shot. If I go forward, then, oh, then I don't. If I don't kill you, it's bad. But I feel like I'm out of the game, so I need to kill you. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna drive into point blank range, and then I should fucking kill you with uh, with three MMGs, right? Right. Right. <laughs> tiger fear as well for you. Yeah, tiger fear would be bad fear, but you wouldn't take it if you just shot. Just shot. If I reverse back, it means that I tell you what. You're a small team. It's small team heavy cover, so I need to go forward get into point blank range, get round your hard cover, and I'm gonna be hitting you on threes. Yeah, that's what we're doing, we're, go we're going for it. We're going straight at you. Tiger's gonna come and blast your ass. So James has confirmed he is going down, which is very good for me, because it means that I've taken them out of the, uh, out of the turn. 
But he still has his medium anti tank gun, so there's still things he might be able to. Oh, but he won't be shooting with an inch of his own people. So I've secured the tiger's life, but now I need to try and secure James's death. I think going down was the right move there, because you, you would have got absolutely hosed. I hit on threes. So I've got three machine guns. I'm using all three. I'm opening the pintle up. I'm opening the pintle up. Uh, so we'll get the dice together and then we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go and see if we can kill them. So this is 16 dice. I'll need to do two re-rolls here because we haven't quite got the full 18. Uh, now I have moved, but I'm in point blank, which means that uh, that cancels each other out. Now James doesn't have any cover, but he is down, which means he's on fives. So it's gonna be fives followed by fives to try and kill the Piat team with 18 dice. So we've got one. Oh, see four in there. Two. Three, four so far. I've then got two re-rolls, which gives me another hit. So I've got five hits. So I'm slightly below average there, slightly below. And now I need fives and sixes. James's breathing has increased somewhat. Okay, fives and sixes, here we go. Come on. Fuzzifura! Yeah! <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I've called upon the dark gods of Adolf, but we have managed to kill the Fiat team. <laughs> there we go, man. All right, let's see uh, what the next dice is going to be. And it is another German dice. James is getting frustrated. The damn Bosch is giving him a thrashing. We're going to go for a snap two, if you hadn't already guessed. Now, we are going to go for a... We're going to try and do a fire order with him. I need two more dice, please. We're going to go for definitely fire one over him. I need two more dice, please. Good, sir. Kind, sir. Okay. 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 That was a perfect. That's exactly what I needed the Germans to get there. Uh, we're going to go for... I think we're going to go for a fire here, an ambush here. And we're going to go for a fire order here. We're going to attempt a fire order here. Okay. So, firstly, let's do him. Now, I'm just going to put four shots into your bloke down here. And so I'm going to go for, uh, it's going to be just small target, but it should be point blank. So it should just be threes to hit. Threes, yeah. Okay. And then it's going to be fives to kill. Fours. Fours, he's, he's only reg. He's dead. He's only reg. He's only gone and killed it. Oh, geez. Two dice out the bag. Now then we're going to go for fire order on the LMG gunner, which he does get. He was actually probably best off getting an ambush, but I wasn't sure the officer was going to pull it out of the bag. So he's got five shots because he's a German LMG gunner. I think we're just going to pepper up these chaps. Yeah, I think it's going to be cover either way, isn't it? I haven't got a loader, and it's a pin, and you've got cover, so it's going to be sixes either way. Nope, nothing, so nothing not even to worry about. And then an ambush on the vaults gun it is. All right, a strong German start there. What will the next dice be? We'll find out in just a moment. So the commander's sweating. Commander James is sweating. He's got a green dice. Where was that earlier? <laughs> He's got a green dice. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a green dice, though. So uh, do you know what you're doing, or do you need yeah, some time to think? Mortar's going to fire on your machine gunner. Now you are ranged in. Yes, yeah, it's two plus. Your eyes, it's a two plus. I forgot about that. He it's has achieved two. it. Thank <laughs> God it was a two plus. All right, so it is a three plus to kill him. He has yeah. killed him. So... For him, the war is over. All right, so now we have lost, we both lost, James lost two dice there, I've lost one dice, so there is still a couple of dice between us. That was a pretty good effective round. I love like Mars, man. All right, let's see what, right, here we go. So the German dice. Ah, the Germans, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Feeling a bit um, like 40K at the minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, don't say that. <laughs> okay, so I think we are gonna go for it's got to be something over here, right? I think we're going to have to go for the... If I, I think it's going to have to be the advance with these chaps. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to... It's a big turn, so I'm going to move them over to here and then try and get some shots onto you. Now, I when I get round the side of you, you won't be in cover. So that's going to be interesting. We'll have to check what that what the hidden rule does for you in that case. But we'll just see what happens in a moment. All right, so we've checked the hidden rules. And if James is no longer getting the benefits of cover, he doesn't get all his fancy stuff. I've got round the side of him, so he's no longer in that hidden cover, that light cover. So it is just small target to hit. So that would have meant that I would be hit on threes because of point blank. So he decided to go down, which means I'm hitting on fives. So I've got the two SMGs and the STG hitting on fives, and the rifles will be hitting on sixes. 
No hits from the assault weapons. That was a very good choice going down. Otherwise, that would have been three or four hits. Two rifles hitting on sixes. No, nothing. So very good move by James going down there. That, that would have been just a lot of hits otherwise. Okay, so what's the next dice? dice. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be my dice. But no! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what do I even I've just, have? I've just checked. You've only got three, three dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to go for uh, an advance on this, okay? And it's going to move up to here, and it's going to try and shoot the commando team, cop team, whatever it is. Oh, if I do that... If I do that, then the Antagon's definitely going to put a hole through the ramp, a hole through me. Uh, I'm going to go. For, I'm going to get this, the the Flam and Wafer squad out first. Okay. All right. So the Flam and Wafer team has jumped out over to there. They've gone for a run. So now let's see what the next dice is going to be. I'm not saying anything this time. <laughs> and it is. Hey, it is a green. So do you know what you're doing? Tell you what, have a little think. Yeah, let's have a little think about so it. So we pulled a couple of dice off camera and the Jeep just drove back here. It's like, oh dear, there's no one left to pick up. So we've uh, done a cheeky little reverse there. And then we've also moved the anti-tank gun over here. So James is sort of umming and ahhing. Should he shoot it? Should he put it in ambush? And he realized that it's just not in a position that it needs to be in right now. So he's moved it. And so next turn and the turns after, he'll be able to sort of you know, threaten the tiger with it. So now he's pulled another dice. Uh, so it's three Brit uh, British dice in a row. What are you doing now? Uh, I'm going to advance this squad here. Okay, and which direction are they going? They're just going to shuffle up, make sure they can't get clipped by that tiger's machine guns. Okay. They're going to have a little shot at the, the officer. Okay. The so you have an order test to make there, sir. Yes. Okay, you've done uh, it. So fine. you've been, your guys have been pretty. They've been doing it. They've been told. They've been doing it at all. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, no doubt, no doubt. All right, so um, then I'm going to have a little, a little shuffle, shuffle up. up around here. I'm going to fight my officer. So that'll be hard cover and small target. And if you're over half range of anyone, that will be um, that will be another line spot. So that could be 6.6. So you could get in the building, but then the tiger will probably flatten the building. Yeah, let's, let's stay away from that super heavy anti-tank gun. Okay, no worries. All right, so we'll see how many are in range. I'll give you the first two, two are in half and the other three. ones aren't. Okay, yeah. so first two hitting on the old sixes. Move these out of the way. Okay, no. and then the next three on the sixes followed by the six. Oh, next two, no, nothing. So just cranking oh, them. Oh, one, oh, one more, one more, one more. No. no, not quite, not quite. All right, so just sort of trickling up, trickling up. I think, you know, the uh, we've, we've sort of stalled the advance, but there's a hell of a lot more commandos coming here. Let's see what the next dice is. All right, let's pull the next dice. Ooh, Ooh German. German. Uh, pfft, don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Uh, I think I'm just going to fire my machine gun here. So we need some dice for that. Five dice. Hitting on, it'll be six followed by sixes over there. One maybe. No. So right, next one. Let's keep it going, keep it going. Big cut, big cut. Okay, it's a commando. Do you know what you're doing or do you want to think? Uh, I'm going to shoot at you. Uh, am I going to shoot at you? Yeah, I'm going to shoot at you with these guys. Right, six followed by sixes, long range, hard cover, small target. We know what we're doing now. Look, it's, it's heating up. It's heating up. So we've got eight, eight shots, shots coming in here. Da, 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 da. I'm going to make my way over to the dice tray. Make it a little flatter. There we go. Uh, two possibles. I tried to make it flatter. It's made it a lot six, more wobbly. Eight, six, it's hard cover, it's long range, small and small team. Oh, yes. he's got one, and it's a four to kill. No. Oh. <laughs> Classic. We've been doing that a few times where we've managed to get the six followed by the six, but then we've we've not. We've got a one, a flat one to get the kill. Interesting. All right, uh, we'll cut that there. We'll see what the next dice. All right, let's is. do this next dice. Oh, the Germans, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I don't want to get too close to those uh, those blokes that potentially could pop up and blow my vehicle up by lobbing a grenade in the top of it. So I think I am just going to go for a straight motherfucking rally 
on these volks. They've just not been able to do anything since they got a little prep bombardment. Just a little, just a little bombardment start, tell them I'm to worry about. All right, so let's see if they manage to get it off. And they do, which means they will lose both those pins because they'll lose one on the D6 at least and one for passing the order. So finally, we've got a fully operational unit of volks. So let's get to the next dice. All right, Pac-Man, let's go. What's the next dice? It is the British of a king and country. There we go. Although these Brits are a little bit heretical because they've not got all British weapons. <laughs> uh, at least they're not using German weapons. That is true. That is true. It's always heretical it's... when you see Germans using captured Soviet weapons. It's like, oh. Yeah, that is bad. I thought you had superior German technology. Beautiful you know? German engineering. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go for a run with this squad. I have to do a morale check. Good morale check. All right, let's do it. 10 because we've got an officer behind them. Okay. That is good. So they're going to lose the pin. I'm going to come forward. Gonna... I am going to ambush the uh, the bejesus out of you. I'm not going to lie here, mate. Do you want to do your move and then I'll tell you where I'm going to ambush you? So I've decided to wait until the Marines are there so that I can ambush them whilst they are out in the open. Now I've got one STG that is in point blank, so he'll be hitting on threes because he still has a minus one to hit because James hasn't killed any of them yet. They're still inexperienced. And then I've got four STGs, which are just within short range, but not point blank. So we'll do those ones first. These need fours to hit. Okay, it's not a great roll. It's just three hits so far. And then we've got the two that are within uh, point blank. That's another two hits. And then we've got the five rifles, which are hitting on fours as well, because they're not in point blank, but they are within half range. Okay, so that's that many hits. So it's eight hits so far. That's pretty good. Eight hits from 15 shots? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, now it's about right with the fact that I had some hit on threes. Now it's fives. This is the biggie. This is the biggie that he's James is trusting to his experience. Toughness. And toughness. And can do attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, one, two, three, four. Oh, that is very good for me. Like that was a that was a, I wasn't expecting to quite get that high. I should have got like two or three. Cool. So there's one bloke left. Now he is going to have to do a leadership check, but it's just a minus one. Just one leadership just check. Minus one. So casual nine. He loves it. He's sticking around. So he he might have you know he's triggered the ambush. His his mates have all been cut down, but he is. He's up his move there. Yeah. He is having a great time, and he does finish his move in there. And I don't think I got any sixes to pick or anything like that. So yeah, I just got straight five. So there we go. All right, pretty good ambush from the Volks. They've been absolutely, I've been telling James how much I like the Volks, man. They are really uh, a lot of Dakar in that 105 point squad. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we'll do probably the rest of the turn off camera because it's gonna be a bit of moving, any shooting, uh, you know, if there's anything important, we'll do it on camera. But apart from that, we'll see where the commandos end up at the end of the turn. So we did the rest of the turn off camera. The Hanamag went forward and tried to shoot up the uh, hidden team there, but they just could not get any hits on it, not even close. Uh, we then had the Royal Engineers who sprinted forward. Now the ambush had been sprung and we'd killed a lot of the veterans. James was like, right, now time to get the blokes up. So he's got the Royal Engineers up there supporting the bloke that made it from the last fire from the other squad. And then he's also brought forward a little five-man squad here. They did pass the order test thanks to being near the officer. They got exactly a 10. If he hadn't put the officer there, they would have failed it. Now, he was hoping to get an extra pin on this squad. He managed to get one with the officer, but unfortunately, he just didn't get any six. He had six shots. He should have got a pin statistically, but he didn't get it. Now, it's kind of an interesting position there because they've got a pin on them. If James can get a couple of dice early on, he can either go for an assault or you can get more pins on them, and that's going to really affect the fact that they're inexperienced. But if he only kills one, and then they uprate, the tide will turn, the, ta the turntables. Oh, yeah. All right, so it's a really interesting position for the commanders, but they're definitely all over this position now. They just need to keep the pressure on, secure that objective, get a draw in the bag, and then try and go for the win, turn six, turn seven. That's where I think the game is for the commanders now. And for the Germans, we just need to try our best to hold this objective, play for that draw, and if possible, to see how long these Volks Grenadiers can hold on for. Are these going to be, if these are rate to veteran, me and James will go, if these are rate to veteran, he might not even get this objective. 10 veterans assault weapons is not something he wants to face at all. So we'll see what happens going into turn five. That is the end of turn four. Okay, so first dice of turn five. Me and James have been chatting. It's that position being held by those Volks. 
on paper is a really tough one for the commando to take. I've picked it. He's picked it. What is it? No! Ah, the Germans. Oh, yeah. Snap two, baby. <laughs> now, I do have to try and pass an order here. So I'm just going to go straight, straight up. I'm going to go for a fire. And I'm going to go for a fire. Okay, now, because I go for an ambush, I think you'll be able to get me. If you charge me, I wouldn't be able to see you and then you'd be able to get me without the fire. So I think I might as well go for a fire straight away. So, and the dice please, good sir, kind sir. Okay, so. Going for fire. Now I've got two order tests to do here. I've got two order tests. So firstly, the officer. He has failed, so he goes down. But now, the Volks, this is on a straight eight. Yes! The Volks gonna do this, they're so fucking good, man. I am just gonna light these boys up, just go straight for it. So it's gonna be 15 shots, hitting on fives, because light cover and inexperienced. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Let's see, let's get the dice together and see what the results are. All right, 15 dice, hitting, we're all in half range, so it's just hitting straight up on fives because of the inexperience and the light cover. Wounding on fives, let's see what we get. Okay, not, uh, we've got five hits, four hits. Okay, we've got four hits there, that was a roller that doesn't count. So now we're looking at fives again. Nothing, oh my God, see that is the difference between inexperienced and veterinary, James is very happy about that. I'm pretty pleased. But there was, there was literally no point in me ambushing because he would have literally, it would have been exactly the same result, essentially. Uh, even if I'd charged, I would have had to ambush him exactly where he is here. I can't ambush him within six inches. I can't overwatch him within six inches. So yeah, I might as well have literally just gone for that. So interesting. I, I had a big, big chance there didn't pay off that's a that's a lifeline to the commandos it was getting ropey there it's a lifeline to them let's see what the next dice is let's do it let's do it one big cut it's another german, it's a german. all right i think it's uh i think it's tiger time i think it's tiger time let me have a little think about what i'm gonna do with this big big beast so the tiger tiger one three four is just going for a straight fire order we're going to fire the super heavy anti-tank gun over here and we're going to fire the both MMGs. We're not messing around, we're getting the pintle out straight away. And so that means, I, I worked out, there's going to be some light cover because some of you, I can't see all of James's guys behind this building, but these three are just flat straight out in the open, right? So we're calling it light cover. That means it's a four plus to hit with the super heavy. And then with the MMGs, it's going to be five, six, it's going to be long range in that light cover. Okay, so let's just see. If and James has, James has said he's getting salty, man. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. All right. But it's very appropriate to get salty because you are a, a, a navy based force and there is sea salt and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. All right. So let's see. It's a four plus to crush James's hopes and dreams. Yay! <laughs> he's got a smile on his face. That I can tell that was really. <laughs> that was a lot of pressure. <laughs> But well, here's uh, actually what's going to do the damage. No, man, no, no, no. Like, um, I've got a bit of foliage with me. There we go. Uh, MMGs, veterans with the small arms is difficult. So fives, one. Ah, oh, the Tiger's absolutely buggered it. But it does get a kill at least. So we've got a pin and a kill. I think that's statistically about what I should have got. I should have got four hits and then maybe a kill. Yes, yeah, so that's about right. So there we go. So it's a shame the Super Heavy didn't go off. Tiger, you know, this Such is... Such a shame. Yeah. <laughs> So sometimes when you use a tiger, it's an absolute game-changing beast. And sometimes when you use a tiger, it's not as important. But it's the psychological impact. James has been worried about that thing. He's put P at T, he's put two or three dice into trying to kill it, and it's not gone off. But um, I think he's done the right thing by just holding it at bay. But there is turn six, and there's a turn seven, so it might still get to do some stuff. So that's the tiger. Uh, we'll cut there, and we'll see what the next dice is going to be. So next dice, what's it going to be? We've got a couple of German ones. Finally, a commander one. This is what James wants. Now we're going to see some action. Now we're going to see some action. So what are you going to go for, man? Uh, we're going to attempt to get these commandos in. You're going for the big, big I'm charge. Going for the commandos in, yeah. Okay, he's drawing his commando daggers. He's definitely in range. Now you have to take an order test, though. I do. I do have to take an order test. Order test on a 10. Are you doing it in the dice straight? Dice straight? Do, do, do it here. He's doing it in the, in, the, in the... Okay, he's done it. He's done it. So the commandos are coming in. Johnson, he's coming in! <laughs> so he's assaulting the building, which means we're going to strike at the same time. 
Okay. Now, he has five attacks with the fighter. I have five attacks with the fighter and five attacks without the fighter. Because it is a prepared position, I will get to fight at the same time. So, let's see. You do want to roll, tell you what, you roll yours in the tray? Oh, oh it was mine in the Yours tray. in the river, mine in the tray. Okay, so let's go. This is my, these are my tough fighter ones. Oh, no. I get none. I also got none. Well, no, you get, you get two. Two. You get two. It's okay. Okay. So you get to roll. So now I'll roll my five rifle attacks. And I get two. So now you need to get at least... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Two. Do we do to Fighter now? Yeah, let's do to yeah. Fighter now. Yeah, yeah. You do it. You've cleared the squad. Come. You've cleared the squad. Just. Even if I'd uprated. Would I have uprated? Let's just see. No. So it wouldn't have mattered. I was thinking if I double uprated, maybe you wouldn't have got it. But you still would have done with that five. It wouldn't have mattered. So he has he has cleared the position. So how that works, guys, in case you're wondering how combat works by action, you roll your dice and whoever comes out with the most kills wins the fight and the remaining combatants that lost the fight surrender. So James killed three. I killed two. I was really lucky with my tough fighters. And then that meant that James only lost two guys, but I lose the rest of my squad. I lose all ten. So it, combat is really, really brutal in bot action. And it's one of the reasons why the Japanese are a very, very difficult force to contend with because their whole thing is combat. And they ignore a lot of morale and stuff. They're just gnarly. So well done to James there. He has been under a lot of pressure. <laughs> a lot of pressure. But he has, I think, got a good position there. Now he's in a he's in a strong position. He should he should secure the draw now. Is he going to be greedy? <laughs> Is he going to be greedy and try and go for the win? We'll have to see. We'll do some other little bits off camera and we'll see where we end up. Alright, so James pulled the next dice and he's going to go for the Assault on the Hanamag. Very interesting. Now the Hanamag hasn't moved, so you'll be hitting it on fours with two dice. And we need to get at least one four here to try and damage and blow up the Hanamag in combat. Let's see what he can do. He's got a four. So now what you need to do, James, is roll a d6 and you really need a six here. No, not quite. So it doesn't do anything, basically. So that is it. You, just, you try and assault the tank, you try and throw a frag grenade in the back and it just doesn't quite go off. So end of turn five, essentially what happened is the Hannah Mag reversed slightly, killed one of the uh, SBF guys that were there. These Grenadiers hopped over from the little building and tried to kill him but didn't. And then the Flammenwerfen just came in and just set him alight. It was pretty brutal to be honest. Literally just, just came on the corner and, uh, and flamed him down. I decided to go down with the Volks because I realised that I don't need to hold that objective yet. I don't want to expose them to maybe failing an order. Um, and then that was basically it. James did push forward with one of his commanders here to take the objective, but I'm essentially my turn six is going to hop some people on it and the tiger on it to just make sure he doesn't hop, uh, own it. Because in bot action, the objective has to be completely clear. It's not about majority models. And last but certainly not least, the Royal Engineers finally got into the fight. The sappers got in there and they managed to beat the crap out of the officer. The officer had been peppered up a little bit from the machine gun team and the mortar, but he was still going. Uh, and so the engineers just went in there and finished it off, you know, close quarter style. Nice. So that is the end of turn five. Now, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty close turn six. What James needs to do is essentially get some blokes to hold that objective, see how many men he can run over to take this one, and then, and then also try and kill me. That's the thing. So it's going to be quite interesting. Let's see what happens going into turn six, possibly the last turn of the game. Okay, so pulling the first dice of turn six, and it is a German grey one. That is very interesting. You know what? I think we're just going to have to go for this straight off the bat. I think the Tiger is going to go for a tank shock. So I actually don't know how that works. We're going to have to check it out quickly. So we've checked it, and it's a bit rubbish tank shock, to be honest. All Jason's doing is to make a leadership check. Uh, and if he does, he moves out of the way. And being a veteran, that's leadership 10, so that's not really a good choice there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an advance order, move on to the objective as best as I can. I know there's an ambushing anti-tank gun that might take a little shot at me, but I'm going to move on to the, uh, onto the objective and try and hose these guys down. Now, James, what are you going to do with them? Going to go uh -huh. down? I am going to go down because I'm on the objective. Okay, so let's move that tiger forward. Last forward, Actung, which is going to drive forward to nine, nine there. Little pivot. Try and get that front armor. And so now we've got a tiger slap bang on the objective. We've made that unit go down. Let's see if the AT gun can get the ambush. Now it's going to be. Ooh, it's going to be a uh, at least a minus one to hit. 
with the long with the uh, with the with the cover. Shall we see if it's going to be in half range? You need to be within thirty inches. So looking down there, it's just a little bit of light cover from the anti tank gun there, and we've checked it. It is in half range, so it's just a four to hit. So he needs a four to hit. He rolling it in the dice tray. Yeah, let's do it. Yay! <laughs> Classic anti-tank gun behaviour. Uh, so we're just going to hose you down with... Uh, we'll go for the super heavy anti-tank gun. Why the heck not? So um, I will have moved, but I'll be in point blank. But it's down. So it's a five to hit with the super heavy anti-tank gun. No, nope, I also got a one. Look at those boss. <laughs> That's the problem with one-shot weapons, man. And then we've got a couple of uh, MMGs here. So we'll just do these one at a time just quickly. So first one... Uh, it's just down, isn't it? So um, that's two hits. And then the second one gets another hit. So that's three hits. And do we kill any? And we kill one. So you've lost one bloke. There we go. So Tiger drove forward. The uh, the, the anti-tank gun absolutely flubbed it on both sides. And then the machine gun just gunned down another soldier. So we've actually really killed two people with the Tiger. But it's, its impact is... It's probably going to stop me from losing the game because <laughs> James is going to probably struggle to clear me off that objective now. So we'll be back at the uh, with the next dice. Okay, so next dice is another German one. So just to make sure they absolutely super duper hold that objective, I'm just going to go for a advance order or run order to basically get more of my blokes onto the objective with this Volkswagen Discord. I'll just measure up and then we'll move them out. The Volkswagen is went for the run. We've absolutely secured this objective now, so that's pretty good. So James pulled the next up after that, tried to fire this light mortar, but wasn't in range. Let's see what the next dice is going to be. It's another German, There's a German dice. dice. Not a huge amount that I can do here. Um, I think, essentially... Yeah, I think I'm just going to just move my units towards the objective in case it's a turn seven. So I just went with the Flam and Werfer team and they have moved over here. Again, just getting into night vision in case there's a turn seven. It will be on a four plus. James then pulled the next dice for his commandos and he managed to get them onto this objective. So he's definitely got one object in the bag. Let's see what the next dice is. It is so it's my turn. I'm just going to move the Hannah Mag up to about here. So James pulled the next dice. He's moved his LMG squad into a position. Now it can't go on an objective, but it could if it gets an early... Uh, dice next turn, pepper up the Hannah Mag and the squad that might be going inside it. So, good position there. Another commando dice and the little Jeep, beep beep, little Brum car has just gone out here and made sure that it's nice and safe. James doesn't want to give up any dice superiority going into that final turn, that potential final turn. He's drawn another dice for me. It's going to be uh, my Grenadiers and they're going to jump inside this truck. So, we'll just advance them into that. Do you want to do the next dice, James? Yep. And I'll put those guys in a second. It's a commando dice. So uh, what do you want to do next? Tell you what, have a little think and I'll move my guys. So James pulled the next dice for his commanders and he's just moved his officers over here, again setting himself up for potential turn seven shenanigans. Right. And we've just pulled the last German dice, which is just going to be the MMG team, and they're just going to go down. They've done their job. They've secured an objective. I'll tell you what, they'll just move on to, to make sure. So they've secured that objective with a little advance and they're having a great time. I'm not sure if I need to you to not hold it, if for me to hold it, I'm not sure how it works, but you know what, I've got it now. Either way, that is not my objective. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the last German die. So we've just got some commandos. Do you know what you're generally doing, James? Uh, advance the engineers and try and get some wounds on your... On my Volks. Okay. So uh, he's going to go for a cheeky advance and then we'll be back when he's doing his shooting. So this Royal Engineer Squad has moved up. It's hugging the little bit of hedges. It's going, come on, lads, give them the beans. And they're going to be unloading their bolt action rifles. And James can draw a little one inch gap between his men and my men if he shoots these little couple back here. So absolutely fantastic. So we've got six rifle shots hitting on sixes. Got a hit. Got a hit. Killing on a three because I'm inexperienced. Yeah, and you do kill one. Just take a little rifleman from here. And you have killed one, so absolutely fantastic. Um, I believe that is the last dice, isn't it? So yes. we'll take a little think, and then we'll be back with the dice to see if we continue on to turn seven. So this is the dice roll to determine if we get an extra turn and give the commanders a chance to get the win. Right now, it's a draw. Both sides hold one objective, and this one is contested. Let's see if the game goes on. It doesn't go on. That's a little bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping the commandos were going to be in a position to get the win there. I think they could potentially, with some demolition charge and the anti-tank uh, gun, maybe have you know, threatened that uh, Tiger and then potentially cleared off the Volkswagen because then they're the highly inexperienced infantry. But at the very least, 
it is a draw. So the, the uh, Germans haven't lost. The Commandos haven't won. Again, another draw. These forces seem fairly equally balanced. So absolutely fantastic. So I just want to say a massive thank you to James for having me around again. I always love playing on his boards. Get some nice big shots of those boards. Absolutely fantastic. And it's been a... Uh, for another great bar report. So thank you, James, for having me over. You're welcome. You'll get me next time. Maybe. 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 <laughs> the Italy campaign continues. Well, the you know the Allies never broke through from the bottom, did that? Did they? So uh, maybe we're just being very historically accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so get a nice closing shot of this tiger. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more bot action battle reports, then please consider becoming a channel member or Patreon supporter. Thank you for watching, and of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.